Hey, Southview family, just wanted to come to you on this Thursday afternoon and uh, bring you all some reminders for this weekend and week, as well as uh, hopefully a word of encouragement. Um, don't forget that Saturday we're going to have our Sunday School lessons uploaded about 8 p.m. Uh, Miss Michelle has our lesson for the children, and uh, we look forward to that. Parents, children, we hope you all are enjoying those. Um, we will have our uh, Bible study for the rest of the church as well. Uh, Pat Walker will be teaching us out of John chapter 3. And uh, let me encourage you to uh, read John 3 before tuning in. I know I always feel that I'm getting uh, a better connection to the text as well as more out of the lesson when I already know what we're going to be covering. So let me encourage you to do that. Uh, Sunday morning at 1030, we'll have our live stream on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we look forward to that time of worship through music. And uh, Pastor Steve will be bringing a sermon to us as well. So uh, let me encourage you to join us for that. Um, Monday we're going to have what's called popcorn and prayer. Um, as uh, we're all missing fellowship, we've come up with uh, this uh, this way to do that as best we can right now. And uh, this will be a good time for families to uh, drive up to the church and we'll kind of have a curbside uh, fellowship slash prayer slash here's a really great bag of popcorn to take home with you. Um, let me encourage you, uh, plan to be here. It'll start at 5.30 and uh, it'll go till at least 6.30. Um, we look forward to seeing people that we certainly miss y'all. We know you miss gathering together, but um, as uh, as things are um, alleviating around in our area, as uh, things are opening up uh, countrywide and within the state and especially within our county, uh, we're going to be prayerfully considering how to gather together. And uh, there's a lot going into that, so be praying for us. Uh, be uh, patient with us, and we thank you for your encouragement as we uh, continue to navigate that. We're, uh, we're trying to balance um, both uh, using reason as well as uh, caution. We're trying to uh, be obedient to the Lord and uh, also try to honor the uh, authorities around us as well. Um, past few times I've uh, made these videos, I've uh, made mention of a song that uh, just speaks to me a little bit, and hopefully uh, you're enjoying that as well. There's a song by Andrew Peterson called Holy is the Lord, and uh, he's a storyteller. He, he tells really interesting stories, and a lot of them are uh, just Bible stories that he says in really unique ways. And Holy is the Lord is a song about um, Abraham being told by God to sacrifice his son Isaac. As we've read the story, we know that God was simply testing him, that God was not calling him to actually sacrifice his son. Um, but uh, within that song, it's, um, it's talking about the call that Abraham had. And uh, the chorus is Abraham's response to it. Um, he says, Holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord, and the Lord I will obey. Uh, but Lord, help me, I don't know the way. Um, you know, there are times in my life that I feel that I want to be obedient. I know I want to be obedient, but I don't necessarily know how to be because the situation's confusing and it's complicated. And uh, all this uh, pandemic stuff we're dealing with is very much one of those. Um, there is no way to prepare for these things, um, not totally. So as uh, we are navigating the waters, as we are considering everything, um, Again, we thank you for your prayers and your patience with us. We thank you for your encouragement, uh, but we don't know the way. We are learning as we go, and we are so thankful for God's mercy and grace during this time. So we know God is holy. We know he is above and set apart from all of this. We know he's in control, and we trust him wholeheartedly. We also know we want to be obedient, um, and that's uh, sometimes easy to do because he explicitly tells us what we ought to do, and then other times... Um, we have to figure out what to do because we don't know the way. So let me encourage you, while um, we are navigating this, be obedient in what you know you ought to be obedient in. And the rest of it, we will prayerfully and thoughtfully consider as we uh, pursue obedience to our great and wonderful Lord. Hope you all have a great day, and we will talk to you later.